Um, holding Z, I think you guys can see this on screen. With spacebar? No? Oh, I'm in the chat right now. Hold on. It is. Okay. Lemon knows what he's talking about. So hold Z. And you want to do like a perfect zigzag. So watch my inputs. You want to go just past the table, switch to right. And like as you're buffering the Z press, like you want to like approach this guard. It'll auto slap him. And as soon as you slap him, you turn left and you're already opening the door. You can see on here, I've already opened the door. So um, from the middle of this mainframe. And then I look down to try to zig out, and then you want to take a tight turn to the right out. So you get through cleanly, and then through the boxes. So what I do here, for the stairs, again, watch, what I do is I tap C left while holding C right. Okay, it is, okay, even better than space. So, I'm going at the stairs, You want to tap, holding, I still hold C right, because if you hold all three C buttons, left, up, and left, uh, right, left overrides right every time for some reason on GoldenEye. But the thing is, is like you're never taking your thumb off of C right, so you never lose mystery tense or phantom tense by switching strafes that way. It's like, it's minimized, like you, you can't fuck this up if you just hold all three down. Okay, holy shit, we, we watched too much. I gotta go, I gotta go back some frames now. Hold on. I'm gonna go back some frames. Okay, I think I froze it. Fuck shit, I fucked shit up. I think I crashed the program. Yeah, it's not even playing. There we go. Okay, so I can go back. It's just laggy as shit. So yeah, anyway, I, I want to show this, 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 uh, match to this. So tap C left here, and then the, the most important thing here is to not touch the wall when you're turning up the stairs. Like, this side thing, you want to take as tight as possible. And it's, sorry, this is like a shit quality vid, but look at like the turn I'm doing. It's like pretty tight. I'm not touching this wall, that's key. And then as soon as you tapped up, you let it go of the left C and then you just finish your turn. It's better to do a strafe change there and also just uh, tap, just tap C left for a few frames just to make that turn. And then basically to start shooting, you wanna start shooting like as soon as you're off the stairs. So I'm like completely off the stairs now and then just wait for it. Now I'm shooting. Just then I got off the stairs and it's five bolts. I'm mashing Z five times. So I'll just kind of skip through this part a bit. Try to stay not completely on the wall, but follow like, see these tiles? There's like a half tile and then there's like two full tiles. Try to like have your angle is like, you're kind of running on the middle-ish left, like around here. Follow this line down. Cause this is like a good line to where the door opens. You want to be like right in the middle. See where the door opens? If you're too far left, you have to turn right. So like, as soon as that door opens, you want to warp the guard by going unarmed and then turning left. So I got stuck on him for a few frames, probably four frames. And then you want to approach this door. Should probably just do some frame advance. Oh, I, I crashed it again. Lag city, holy smokes. Yes, it's fine. As soon as it stops lagging like a beast. Okay. So I approach like your line at the door. You don't want to approach the door at the rail. That's kind of too far right. You want to approach it kind of like towards the middle of the doors. So like watch my C buttons here and like the analog. You want to open the door like you want to open the door right here kind of a little bit on the left door because if you open a dead center in the middle you're gonna get stuck on the right door which is bad so you want to open it the left door slightly to the side but also as you open it you want to slightly turn left 
This way your angle gets fixed. So I'm pressing B here. Like this is like insane distance. You want to max distance these doors. So basically, as soon as this rail's cut off, you want to hit B just before you hit this end of the rail. Uh, on this side, that's when you hit B. And then your B will open the door. And then I'm turning a bit left. You can see the analog left. I'm turning left to get through this door cleanly. Because you want to just, like, no stuckage. And then you hard right a zigzag pattern. So I'll keep frame advancing. So you want to go hard right, hard left, hard right. And I like to use quite a bit of look down because the library's the leggiest part of the level. And then one more time hard left. And then one more time hard right. Now, this is like the crucial part of the run, honestly. Um, you need to open Nat's door from insane distance to have every run be like a good pace. So you want to open this door max distance. So look how far away. Like, I don't know if I got close this run. I'll tell you right now if it's a good press or not. Like, I think I could open it for like one or two frames from now. So let's see, one frame, two frame, three frame, four frame, five frame. So that w that door was actually not perfect. I could have opened that door probably a frame, couple frames earlier. And I was also a bit more right than normal. You want to open that door like at the best possible angle and frame. But here's the thing. I got the instant. No, I didn't get the instant at this run. That was the other run. And as soon as you open that door... Hard left on the stick and 180. Like, I'm hard lefting. I, I got a little closer than normal, but that's because I opened it a little close. So you want to open that door from max distance. That door wasn't perfect. You could do better, but it was okay. And then, the, what I like doing here is... I'm just so used to my muscle memory at this point. I just do one turn, and that turn is always a perfect angle for some reason. I'm just done that turn a million times. But you want to take a super tight uh, line that connects with the end of this rail here perfectly. And just ride that rail. Don't make any micro adjustments, ideally. So you should come in right by this bookcase, but you won't touch it. You'll, like, graze it. Like, I think I might have grazed it for a frame. But I like to ride that line. And then Nat will usually see you as you turn here if she doesn't see you instantly. So as I turn, she'll see me. So yeah, you got, I got the last, like, gnat. And then, you try to make these two couple turns tight. Did I micro-adjust? It was a bad line. I got stuck on the bookcase for a frame, I think. But I usually like to ride that perfect, like, no, no adjustment. That's how you know it's a good line. But as the most important part for the ending is come out here. You actually want to ride the rail. So you want to like come in here and then just try to get on this rail as quickly as possible and just ride this rail down. So I'm riding this rail right now. Um, I like to pull my gun out about halfway down this rail. And then as um, soon as you get to the end of the like three quarters down, look up to have regular view like from the look down. And then you want to turn left as you come out and just mash Z four times fast as you can. Z, 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 Z. I don't like to shoot more than four shots. This run I shot five because I missed one. But if you get a perfect four shots fast, then uh, you'll have a uh, no lag window, ideally. And then you can strafe out, but I missed a shot this run. So, like, take a look left. Let's see what happens. Frame. Frame. I think it's lagging. No. Frame. And then, as soon as now is what you want to be based. Yeah, I'm already shooting. So basically, my shot was buffered perfectly as I'm looking at the window. And then I f four presses. So the first shot hit perfect. Next shot. And I'm, I'm only holding C up here. You let go of uh, strafe for this part. And you just want to get four shots. I missed one. 
See, that shot missed because I'm bad. But I just, if I say whatever, I just mashed out. Ideally, you get all four shots and you can just strafe out. But I missed that last one. But the window's done here. I think I still get a tap out, though, on the C button. So yeah, left strafe enabled. I get a f one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't think these frames are legit. I get 11, like 14 frames of C button press. So that's like strafing for almost a half second. So like that saved a bit of time. If you just hold C up all the way out, it's slower. But ideally you want to get a nice perfect strafe out. Yeah, that's basically um, 16. Yeah, like there was like 15 uh, VLC frames or something. But uh, N64 frames is less, so yeah, probably 7 frames. It's a little bit. It saved a bit of time. Because when you want to get 16 no boost consistently, you have to save your frames like Ending, Nat Door, and uh, Stairs at the start. Those are the three spots I think you can save the most time without getting a boost. And I guess the library too, if you get a good door open, double door open. But it's like, that's basically 16. So that run wasn't like perfect. So let's watch the run from start to finish without any slowdown. And just, I'll, I'll like quickly analyze it. I don't know. We'll just watch a couple runs. I don't remember where it was. So yeah, good start this run. Good stairs. Good. Slight stuck. Slight stuck on the warp, but it's fine. Good library. Slightly bad approach. Okay there. Slight micro adjustment and then missed a shot there, but I still got out okay. And then now it's probably 16.9. Um, Lost, I lost a tenth on the ending, probably, close to a tenth, on the not having a low leg DD44 and not perfectly strafing out. I lost some time in the library, going, my door approach wasn't great, so I lost like two tenths probably, and then I lost a tenth on the door warp at the start, so I lost like three tenths. So that was a point nine, probably, it was probably like a point six without any mistakes. So like, that's the thing, like you get like a point six, no mistakes. You can get one boost with 1.2, maybe two, but it's not gonna it's not gonna push you under 16. It'll put you at like 16.1 or something with 1.2 on a perfect two boost run. But that's why 15 is impossible unless you use 2.x, which saves 